Hey guys, Tony, so excited, assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So, today we're gonna do another Room 101 stuff. And this is called the Room 101 Namakubi. Namakubi Perfecto released um, in various years. And this particular one is 2023. Uh, the size, well, let's take a look at this thing. Like, should I do this separately? No, nah, I just got to try to do this. All right. This is actually a Perfecto because I already have enough experience where like they have the Perfecto version. You bought the Robusto and then didn't taste good. You should have bought the Perfecto. So there you go. Perfecto it is. All right. Uh, I have a beef to pick with, with this name. Namakubi usually means somebody got beheaded. It's just their head. Namakubi is just a raw head. You know, the leg, the just the neck up. Namakubi, all right? And like, they use this name, try to be all samurai about it, and then put a freaking Oni emblem as a, like a seal of thing. That's usually a doorknob. I don't know. It, it just doesn't fit the theme, you know? It's kind of gore if you think about it. You know, it's not the best name that I would choose for a tasty cigar. Like, do you really want to think about a head dripping in blood while you're smoking a cigar? I don't know. I don't think so. But that's that's what it is, you know? Just a raw head. Okay. So, first, you know what? Let's let's shift to a different camera so I can show this better. Because this thing this thing doesn't want to listen. Alright. One second. Let me fold this so I can actually show you guys this. Because it doesn't want to listen. Ah uh, no. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's see if that works. All right. So this is the wrapper. Kind of. It says Namakubi on it. And basically it's in kanji. So Namakubi. And just means uh, a, a most raw form of head. Or neck up. Okay. And then we have this thing. Basically. Uh, just something to keep that from sticking to that i guess all right so so yeah you knew this was already got to be interesting uh from the get-go because this leaf is raw right this thing is this thing is just um looks destroyed with cracks and everything like that's what happened when you keep something in a in a, in a wrapper it's like in like a packaging you just can't tell if something's destroyed inside but this is already destroyed so I don't know if I if I'm gonna have trouble, right? But anyways, this thing is six and a half by fifty. Uh, it's done by uh, Mexican Senior Drills wrapper, Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, Pennsylvania broadleaf fillers, and yeah, we will see what we can go with this. Perfecto. Well, it's really really more of a figure out than anything. All right, anyways. Very light, like, fall smell when you go out with a bunch of leaves, fall, fall leaf smell. So, 
I want to touch kind of glue the side a little bit before it's too late. Maybe I should because if you want to give the best chance possible for this cigar, you kind of have to glue it. So let's glue it. Just a little bit, just where that crack is. There's a long crack on the side. Just so that it doesn't fall apart. And there's another one somewhere here. Yeah, this, this cigar is absolutely destroyed. Somehow. And the band is already glued to the, the leaf, so yeah, expect that to have a problem. Okay. The bottom I don't have to glue because um, I'm going to burn it anyway, so. That is a good start. Room 101, way to go. All right. All right. Uh, I forgot to talk about how much this is. So let's just randomly pick up a website. Find out what that is. <laughs> it is $25. $24.99, $25. All right. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. This is what happens whenever I want to review some like, you know, affordable price cigars. It's just cigars, just, you know. You wish they pay a little bit more attention. Yeah, there's a leak. There's like no draw. Just leafy. All I taste is pretty leafy. That's it. Okay. Light it up. This is a long first beginning thing. Usually I try not to report that long, but we'll see. Okay. Ooh, that's sharp. That is very, very sharp. There's a really dark leafy taste. Chocolate. Earth. Soil, you know, earthy. A little bit of, I would call it between earthy and barnyard. Some spice. A little bit of stink. Kind of characteristic of San Andreas. A sour woodsy tone. That's what I got. So yeah, let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, first third is done. Um. The burn is funny, but it's got this a little bit of a floral and then a little bit of coffee. Just a yeah, teeny tiny of creaminess and pepper. But it's got this mustiness, the earthiness that it's kind of sharp. It's, it tastes like it needs a little time, but everything else tastes okay. Everything else wasn't bad. So, you know, first third is actually okay. Uh, first third alone, I can get this to maybe $10 range. $10 range. Pretty standard, you know, synergist combo flavor. Okay. So $10 right now. We'll see if it gets better. We'll go from there. Uh, just the build. Because so many crack and stuff like that, the, the draw is actually loose, which I like. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just don't like the name. Namakubi. Why do you try to say it? You know? It doesn't fit the theme. 
It's a very evil theme. You know, it's like when the, when you go to war and a samurai gets their head chopped off and brought back in a box. That's the Namakubi. It's not really a beautiful thing. So, anyways, let me smoke one another third and I'll be right back. Second third, okay? The, the flavor got more sharp. It's like the same flavor, but it got more sharp. But it's not bad tasting, per se. It's actually not bad. But it's almost like a safe combination that they used. It tastes like a typical San Andreas combination cigar. It doesn't taste bad, but it's nothing special. Like, I can't even say this is bad. But it's not really special. Mm. The flavor, the strength is about a medium, maybe closer to medium plus, but not there. But I don't know. Like, I, I, I can't say anything particular about the cigar because it's nothing that shines. But I can't deduct much about the cigar because it's very safe. It's got everything that a normal uh, San Andreas wrapper cigar combination will have provided you. Mm. Yeah. I think this one, we just had to smoke all the way to the end and give you a summary because it's nothing particular. The pepper is not ramping up though. It's still in my nose. It lingers. So there's a lot of pepper if you like pepper. But that's pretty much it. I, I, I can't find... I can't find any notable, point, notable points that I can say that makes this cigar stand out. It's not a standing out cigar, but it's not a bad cigar. If that makes any sense, right? So, yeah, burns fine, construction's fine, the line is okay, kind of adjust itself over time, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I'm surprised though. I'm surprised. I I am surprised. So, yeah, let me finish up. Let's go to summary and kind of summarize this and give you a price what I think this is worth. It's not a lot. <laughs> All right, be right back. Okay, I lied. This is not medium, medium plus. This is full, full strength cigar. You feel it? Yeah, full strength. Full strength cigar. But the last stir. Yeah, last stir just get even sharper. I don't think this is smooth cigar is pretty sharp. It's got, it's got everything that's safe about San Andreas. So if you like San Andreas, yeah, okay. But it's definitely not a $25 cigar. This is probably somewhere in the $14, $15 range cigar to me. $14, $15. Max $15. Probably closer to $14. Um, because there's nothing shines. It's like normal. Like you you smoke a, a cigar and you go, oh, that's San Andreas. And, 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 and some sort of broad leaf combination and you're like oh yeah and you get all that and that's pretty much it and then you get the the strength you get the pepper you get the flavor but it's sharp it's like you feel like you can you can literally let this sit for another year or two and come back to it and probably be better that's what i think so yeah 14 to 15 dollar range let's take a look at the band it says LTD 2023, which is just limited. They they released a few years, um, different few different years, so it's not like that 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 rare. It can be found easily. And there you go, Room 101 Namakubi, which I don't think that font represents it too. If you try to go with the Japanese name and you put something almost like an Arabic of uh, some sort of writing to it. It looks nice. I mean, that looks nice, but I don't think that fits the theme. You know, that's a design thought, afterthought kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, 
That's what I can put it as. And that's with the box. That's with the box, okay? So if you don't buy the box, it's kind of no point. It's just uh, you can get some other cigars that are San Andreas probably even get the same experience and probably not as harsh. And, and probably not as strong too. This thing is strong. This thing, when I say... It's like literally right after I say this medium, not even plus, and I smoke a couple of puffers, I wait a second. This is like full. Like it starts slow, but it ramped up. It ramped up. So that's pretty much it for this cigar. There's nothing shine, nothing bad, nothing particularly good, and normal cigar. Normal cigar, all right? Package is cool, and that's pretty much it. All right? So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you like our early access to some of our cigar reviews, make sure to join the membership and podcast on Sundays, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.